So we are in module 1 which deals with basic geometries and in this particular video lecture we are going to carry out some numerical experiments with the O-Grid. O-Grid is a very powerful uh, meshing technology in ICEM and if we understand it correctly it can make uh, very uh, difficult meshes very easy for us. So we'll try and understand how to experiment with the O-Grid, how, uh, how to manipulate the O-Grid, what are its different features. We have already been introduced with, to the O-Grid in the previous lectures. We will, uh, we will do some experiments and understand the O-Grid better. So this is the ICM GUI. I have created a, a cube. I have created a cube. I will uh, now uh, go ahead and create a block for this and we will then start the exploration of O-Grid. So I go to blocking here and the first tab here, first button here because there is no block currently loaded. So only the first button create block is active. Other buttons are switched off. So I click here. I, I could give a part name here. And now uh, the part name can be a new part name or it can be a part which is already uh, exists in the display tree. If we give a new part name, the block will be assigned to that new part name. If we choose a, a part from, from uh, the available part names, the block will be assigned to that particular part only. So we name it as say fluid and we go to create block only the first button is again available because the these buttons will be av available only when at least one block has been loaded and we initialize block in 3d bounding box because we we don't uh, have a 2d geometry and we keep it uh, uh, we don't select any entities because we want our block to cover the whole geometry and we say apply so this is our block and then we will create an O grid. So we go to blocking. Now you see the other other buttons have been highlighted. We click here, and we select O grid block here. In split block option, we select the second option, which is the O grid block, and we say select blocks. There is only one block. Its number is thirteen, and we select that. And we press middle click to confirm the selection. And we don't select any faces. We don't select any faces, we just selected the block and we say apply and then just say dismiss. So you see uh, a, a, a new block has been created. This is known, known as the O grid. Uh, the, the new block is created uh, and there are edges which, uh, which uh, protrude from all the vertices. These edges, if you notice carefully, they are not coplanar from the, with the original faces of the block. If this is the original face of the block, the edge is protruding from that. We have not, if you remember, we have not selected any faces while creating the oak grid. So the edges are protruding from the block. Uh, I can show you one more thing. I go to blocking and I right click and say index control. Now instead of ijk, I mean uh, apart from ijk, one more oak uh, index has been created O3. This is an O grid index. This was not there when uh, when there was no O grid. To confirm that I can undo this. So you, if I undo there is no O grid and the, the o, o grid index O3 is unavailable. When I redo so O3 index has been created again. So this O3 index this O index is actually O grid index and it starts from O3. And uh, for the minima and maxima, if you if you see here, if we increase the minima, the outer outer uh, outer blocks will vanish. That means the minimum uh, starts from here. The the O grid index, the minima of O grid index starts from here, and the maxima ends here. So if if we decrease the maxima, you will see the inner block will vanish. So the inner block vanishes. And if we increase the minima, the outer outer block will vanish. So the min uh, the so the direction in which the O grid index 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 increases is from the outer to the towards the inner. Please uh, understand that. Now suppose we want to create one more O grid, a nested O grid, which will be inside this O grid. We'll go here and then say 
select blocks and then select the inner block and then say apply so we have created one more o grid here and you see the o3 index has uh, the maxima has increased to 2 but there has not been any o4 or o5 index index created i mean uh, earlier it was o3 and still it is o3 no new indices have been added like o4 or o5 but the man, maxima of the uh, o grid index has increased to 2 so uh, this earlier it was 1 so uh, as we add uh, this this shows that as we add any nested o grids the only the ma maxima will change but no more o grid indices will be added had we added a new o grid elsewhere then a new o grid index would have been added but we have added a nested o grid an o grid within an o grid so only the maxima uh, of the o grid index has changed we can also play with that we see we increase the minima see we have outer block has vanished we we'll increase even more the middle block has vanished and only the inner block innermost block remains we decrease it back and then back. similarly we decrease the minimum so the inner o grid has vanished and then the o grid both the o grids have vanished and we have the block itself so this was about the o grid indices and the first split i, I can say done so uh now how to delete an o grid uh, we we played with the o grid indices we saw how the o grid indices we, we behave now how to delete an o grid the way to delete an o grid is to merge vertices we will merge these two vertices the 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 vertices which define the radial edge they will be merged they will be merged we will go here to merge vertices and we'll say select two vertices and we'll also check propagate merge this option should be checked here now two vertices which should be merged uh, it is very important uh, uh, for for uh, understanding that uh, the two vertices to be merged should be uh, their order is important see i will select here this is the first vertex and this is the second vertex and i say apply so you see the innermost index has been uh, so the central central uh, block has been removed i will undo this and i will select the vertex in reverse order i will select this first and this first say apply so you see the outer block has been removed so uh, the the order of selecting the vertices is important while deleting uh, while using merge vertices when you select the first vertex this one then this vertex will jump to this that means this o grid the central o grid will be deleted when you select this vertex as first and this vertex as second then the second vertex this one will jump to this vertex and so the outer outer block will be deleted so please uh, please take care to select the correct uh, vertex uh, to select the uh, vertex vertices in the correct order to uh, to to understand uh, the deletion of o grid uh, uh, you can go back and revise this example once more if we select this vertex first in merge vertices then then this vertex will jump to this vertex this will and the central block will be deleted similarly if we select this vertex first and this vertex second then this second vertex will jump to the first vertex and the outer block will be deleted so that's how the merge vertices option works in deletion of the o grid and please take care to propagate merge now we will create o grid which will pass through a face or two faces or maybe more than two faces so we'll begin with split block second option o grid select blocks i'll select this block this is the this is the only uh, only block middle click and i will select a face also well. now uh, when i select a face what will happen is that o grid will pass through that face what it means that 
the edges the o grid edges which are coming from that face will become coplanar with that face they will merge with that face they will become coplanar with the face so i will select face say i will select this face and then press middle click and then say apply so you see these are the o grid edges these four edges 1 2 3 4 So these four are the o grid edges, and since I selected this face, these four o grid edges have have become coplanar with the face itself. So uh, this is the th uh, important thing here: how how merging, uh, how selecting faces works. In the very basic, the uh, the edges will become coplanar with the face itself. And uh, secondly, if you select one face in a cube, it will become so something like a C. something like a c here so this is a c so this is known as a c grid a c block but this is not a, a, a exactly a c block to to make a c block we have to select the top and bottom faces as well so uh, to create an o grid uh, to create a real c grid we should select not only one face but the top and the bottom faces as well So I will select the block first once again. Middle click, and I have selected the face here, and then I select the top face and the back face, the bottom face, and I press middle click and say apply. So you see, this is a real C grid. This is a real C grid. So we we selected one face and the top and bottom faces. We got a real. Now uh, we got a C grid. so this is a important topology where which we use many a time so this was one one face selection with top and bottom faces now we'll go to uh, two faces how how to select uh, how to select two faces uh, let me get rid of this o grid and i will So this is the O grid. So this is the block. Now I will select two faces while creating the O grid. I will select this block once. Middle click, and I will select two adjacent faces first. Two adjacent faces. This and this. And middle click. So apply. so this is the this is the uh, topology which is created this is known as the y block the y grid this because the curves the inner curves mark mark a y so you see the these were the two faces which we selected which uh, this one and this one so uh, the the o grid uh, edges on this face have become coplanar with the face as they should because we have selected this face and similarly for this face the o grid face o grid edges have become coplanar with this face now but the common uh, the, but the but the uh, edges coming from the common uh, edge here they have uh, they have been deleted there is no edge coming from this end so because two adjacent faces have been selected uh, no edge coming from this end so this is how the o grid technology works in icem so uh, uh this is a, a creation of y grid y by selecting two adjacent faces now uh, if you want a pure y grid the top and bottom faces should also be selected so i will do that now let me get rid of this y grid first so i will again uh, divide the block split the block So I will select two adjacent faces. These are the two adjacent faces, and I will select the top and bottom faces. Press apply, and this is the real, uh, the pure Y block, which which is because uh, we I selected the top and bottom as well, and of course the adjacent faces have been selected. So this is how how uh, selecting two adjacent faces makes the O grid. so uh, uh 
we we now know how to uh, select faces and then what o grid it will result uh, many a time uh, the reverse thinking is important for example we should by looking at a o grid we should know how it was created what faces were used to select uh, what faces were selected to create it uh, this is very important because it will help us divide uh, help us take the decision on uh, creating the o grid how to create the o grid to capture topology we should be able to not only select the faces and create the o grid we should be able to look at an o grid and understand what faces were used to create that the reverse thought process is very uh, important it's uh, important to develop that thought process so uh, so uh, i one tip i can give you is that when you look at an o grid like this the the uh, the faces the for example this face the faces which have edges passing through them and not through the corner but through the face itself they, they they should be selected while they should have been selected while creating the o grid this is a very important tip when you look at an o grid and you want to know which faces were selected while creating it just look at the faces through which the o grid edges pass for example in this o grid uh, the, uh, the the this this is one face through the through which the o grid edge pass the this is another face through the o which the o grid edge pass from this face there is no o grid edge passing because the o grid goes through the corner it does not pass through the face similarly here uh, the o grid edge uh, does not pass through this face it goes through the corner so this face and this face are not required to create that o grid this in this view now if you go to this view so we know that this is the o, o grid edge and this face and this face Uh, have the o grid passing through them uh, have the o grid edge passing through them so these are the top and bottom faces and we should include them in include in in creating the o grid so that is how we make a decision in uh, creating the o grid if an if a face has an o edge o grid edge the radial edge passing through it we should include that uh, in 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 the uh, creation of o grid 